Hello friends, this is Ritika Patel. And this is Ritik Patel. So today we are going to study about the movements of joints. Like flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, and much more. So friends, do you know what is joint? A joint is a part of a body where two or more bones meet to allow a movement. So friends, here I have divided the upper part of the body in five parts that is neck joint, shoulder joint, elbow joint, wrist joint and finger joints. Talking about the neck part, our neck supports the weight of the head and protects the nerves that carry sensory and motor information from the brain down to the rest of the body as well as the neck is highly flexible and allows the head to turn and flex in all direction so let's see what are the moments that our neck joint can allow starting with the first moment our neck allow us to perform left lateral stretch by turning our neck left sideway movement like this is left lateral stretch and vice versa right sideway movement like this is called as right lateral stretch so the next moment is moving your head in front to 45 degree in this way is called as flexion and moving your head back side again to 45 degree in this way is called as extension and rotating our head with the chin back from left side to right side is called as rotation and combination of all these movements allow us to do circumduction like this that is moving our head in 360 degree and now coming to our shoulder joints imagine how often it's used throughout the day you use it to help you to get out of the bed to raise your fork or spoon through your mouth and to reach to get a glass from a cabinet so we daily use our shoulders and wrist joints in various work and yoga postures one of the daily use moment is moving our hand in forward direction like this is called as flexion and vice versa moving your hand in backward direction like this is called as extension and now to explain you further let me tell you about the midline of the body what is midline of the body midline of the body is an imaginary line drawn from the center of the body so here taking our hand away from the midline so taking our hand away from the midline is called as abduction and vice versa again bringing it back to its normal position is called as a deduction and now taking your hand towards the midline of the body like this is called as internal rotation which is also called as medial rotation and now taking your hand back from the midline to the lateral like this is called as external rotation which is also called as lateral rotation and the combination of all these movements come a new movement in shoulder joint that is called as circumduction like rotating your hand in 360 degree like this is circumduction now moving downwards to our forearm our forearm here is our elbow joint which is an important link in the arm between shoulder and hand first moment in elbow joint is rotating our arm inward like this is called as pronation and vice versa moving our hand in outward to its normal position is called as supination and now again moving downward to the wrist joint through lifting gripping and twisting the humble wrist makes most of our day-to-day -day activities possible here our first movement is bending our wrist downwards that is 
bending our wrist forward like this is called as flexion and bending our wrist backward like this is called as extension coming to another movement when we deviate our wrist laterally like this when like we say bye to someone so when we deviate our wrist like this is called as radial deviation or abduction and when we do it in an opposite way like this is called as ulnar deviation or a deduction now our last part left is finger joints there are many daily tasks we take for granted as we use our fingers to open door slice fruit type and much more just try to do one of these things without your thumb index finger or middle finger and see how difficult it is so talking about our finger joints which allow us to do our first movement that is forward bend a finger which is called as flexion and again bringing back to the normal position by extending our fingers like this is called as extension and the movement in our finger is when we separate our finger from the middle finger like this is called as abduction and when we bring back our fingers again to its normal position that is when we bring our four fingers to the middle finger like this is called as a deduction now talking about the last and very important part that is thumb when a person is standing in the anatomical position where the palm is facing to the front the thumb is the outermost digit thumb is the flexible and movable which help us to hold or catch something easily which is not possible without thumb it is an important finger from the rest of the four fingers so thumb is capable of doing flexion like this that is moving it towards the palm and doing extension moving away from the palm bringing it back to its normal position thumb is also capable of doing abduction that is moving our thumb which is my first metacarpal away from the second metacarpal this is my second metacarpal like this is called as abduction and bringing my thumb again back to the second metacarpal like this is called as a deduction and the last is a position of thumb that is the tip of the thumb touching the tip of the little finger or the tip of all other fingers is called as a position of thumb here i finish the moments of the superior part of the body that is the upper part of the body i hope this information was little informative to you